one of the things that I've learned about like relationships and specifically like women and what men almost get wrong about women is that their almost number one need is uh, to have clarity, security, and certainty in the relationship, mm. right? And mm -hmm. that often goes wrong with blokes because, you you know, you get married and then comfortable and the guy, like, I don't know, he starts drinking a bit too much beer, gets a bit of a bad bod, watch, starts watching too much sport or, I don't know, you know, porn or whatever the story is. And, you know, um, so that security, that clarity of, like, who this guy is, is, like, is not there anymore. And... Um, mm. You know, if, so effectively they have like a vision. They're like, they're always visioning you. Like, this is the man that I, that I want to be with, like a future version of you, you know, like, but then when that vision starts becoming less clear, like, you know, uh, then that's when, that's when things start uh, sort of going sideways. Um, and then, you know, all of a sudden one day the wife goes, uh, you know, I'm done. And the guy's like, well, what are you talking about? Like, you know, I've, I've been providing for the family and, and doing all these things. And like, you know, that's what I'm supposed to be doing. And then, but they don't know that that's not really what the, the woman wants. You know, they want the security and this clarity and this, they have this vision of you. And uh, yeah, so it, it's great that, um, you know, that, that I guess in, in your scenario that uh, you became that guy who, who, who <laughs> she probably thought you, you know, you, you, you were going to be. Yeah. And, um, yeah, it's like, we talked a little about Chris Williamson and Dr. Glover. And so Dr. Glover was recently on Chris Williamson's podcast and there's kind of a clip that's gone on through the, uh, through Instagram of Chris Williamson with Hermosi with Alex Hermosi, um, saying, you know, he's like, Oh, I just had an interview with Dr. Glover and he's got this quote, the essence of an attractive man is someone is a man who, essentially knows what he wants knows how to get there and has fun doing it has fun getting there and they were like wow yeah true true and then dr glover on his spot like on the actual podcast on that interview says it and he's talking about how all these you know when he says that to women or he says that to podcasters to interviewers they're all they're all just like ah you get it you know what i mean and it's exactly what you said it's like it's not about just going out and making a bunch of money and bringing the money home. And then you can just sit on the couch and do nothing. Like it's a whole lot more to that, you know, to it. And you're right. I think it's where a lot of guys get it wrong as that's what they think. They have that mentality. Oh, I just got to be the provider and that's it. You know what I mean? And the woman can, she runs the household. She does everything else. And that's when the men just seem to get a bit lazy um, and become less of the leader and, you know, issues happen. I'm lucky. If, like I've been in that, same such a situation and you know my wife and i are able to talk about it and she can call, like bring me up on stuff that i'm not doing and i can kind of then self-evaluate and assess and be like shit yep i'm not i'm letting the family down in this regards i need to step it up a bit more in this respect you know or and just make some changes as we go rather than letting everything build up build up and then like you said like some people would just be like no we're done i'm tired of this without even kind of mentioning it and just hits guys like a you know like a door in the face or like a, like a brick wall just boom where'd this come from shit you know so i'm lucky to have that in my relationship where paula can bring stuff up and we can talk about stuff and yeah she can kind of call me out on different things and the stuff that i'm not doing or things i am doing um that need to work on so yeah it's a uh, amazing in that sense i'm lucky in that sense too that i found someone like that 